for Meads annual holiday tree lighting ceremony. This year's event was a virtual one streamed live on Facebook. Hello and welcome to Mead Week, I'm Brian Spann. Also this week the annual DOD housing survey is out, mental health town hall is coming up, and some tips for planning your trip to the new Army Museum. These stories and more, but first a quick recap of this week's installation town hall. As rates of coronavirus infection continue to rise across the country, most of the town hall discussion centered on COVID-19. Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Chris Nyland confirmed that infections on post are on the rise, but that transmission rates inside the gates remain very low. We're not necessarily seeing them increasing as rapidly or as um, dramatically as the off-post cases are. But by and large, we are seeing the transmission occurring um, inside households with people um, unaffiliated with the post. The overwhelming majority, not all, but the overwhelming majority. There was plenty more from the town hall, including inclement weather notification, the annual DOD housing survey, which we'll have more on in just a moment, and of course, the latest on the Rockenbach access control point. You can watch the entire town hall on our Facebook page. Just click on videos. In a related story, Fort Meade has another town hall coming up. If you're catching the show before Wednesday, December 9th at one o'clock, you can still tune in for a town hall focused on mental health. Panelists include Major Amy Berzelkowski, Director of Psych Psychological Health at Kimbrough, Catherine Gray, Director, Anne Arundel County Mental Health Agency, and Dr. Christy Culpepper, Supervising Psychologist for Child and Family Therapy at the Kennedy Krieger Institute. You can join them with your questions and answers December 9th from 1 to 2 p.m. Streaming live on our Facebook page. Meanwhile, the annual Department of Defense Housing Satisfaction Survey came out this week. The survey is voluntary and the goal is to obtain feedback regarding residents' living experience. A link to the survey should be sent to each household by December 18th, with the survey remaining open for 45 days. All information collected by the survey is confidential. In more housing news, in this week's town hall, Colonel Nyland talked about the resumption of the housing focus groups. One, I still want to hear from you, and two, that I'm going to use that information, the, the information you provide in coordination with Corvius in order to continue to improve your housing experience here on Fort Meade. So, please. If you're interested in participating in the focus group or even just listening in to what's being discussed, um, dial in at 301-677-3076, 5 p.m., 9 December. Elsewhere, the new National Museum of the United States Army opened for visitors on Veterans Day. The museum released this video about planning your visit in the COVID-19 environment. We have five steps for a safe and inspiring visit. First, we ask that you plan your visit by going online and reserving your free timed entry ticket. We are using the online ticketing system to manage the number of visitors entering the museum with limited contact. You may request up to five tickets per visit. Please do not arrive prior to your ticket time. Group tickets, guided tours, and walk-up tickets are not currently available. Face coverings or masks are required for the safety of all. Visitors ages two and older, staff and volunteers must wear a mask when on the museum campus. Social distancing is important as it allows you to enjoy the galleries while physically distancing from others. Please follow the posted social distance markers. While you are visiting, we ask that you please wash your hands frequently with soap and water or utilize the hand sanitizing stations throughout the museum. Finally, free stylus pens are available for you to safely engage with interactives without compromising your experience. Please be aware that some interactives will not be available. We open this week's show with a look at this year's tree lighting ceremony. As you know, the jolly one from up north couldn't make it to this year's event because of the COVID climate. But what about the holiday itself? Colonel Nyland had some inside information. There wants to know whether Santa is still going to come around the post on the fire trucks. I'll tell you, Chris, I haven't talked to Santa recently. Okay. Um, I think he said hey, some of the elves are coming to my recovery review board next week. Um, they committed to come out and kind of brief us on his plan, on what his plan was going to look like running up to Christmas and what his plan was going to look like on Christmas. But I'm absolutely sure everything I've seen coming out of the North Pole recently is telling me that Santa has figured out some COVID compliant ways to not only visit Fort Meade, but visit all the kids around the, around the world. And finally this week, a reminder that Meade TV's annual year interview is coming up on our next show. That's December 18th. Until then, that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann for everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office. Have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.